Hey all, welcome to Seth Cutley Pukas Hangouts. So all the father's quests are done, all the gods are complete. Well, technically this is still a push quest line, but yes, these are the final quests before we enter Terra. So let's talk to Zamna and find out what we need. And yes, we have got only two pieces of the calendar. Third one is still missing. We have not found it in any of the 10 God's quest lines. So now it's some hazard out on this Katlipoka. So we are going to search his hangouts if we find the plate piece there. Or at least something to prove that this Katlipoka has taken it. Let's see. We need to find a temple here and then we need to go on to his mirror realms. If you remember the Skatlipoka's quest line, he was quite fond of mirrors. Uh, I guess if I remember. There's an area to the right where Zamna is blocking the way, so we have to do something here. Then we can probably go right. So let's see how long is this part. And that reminds me of the location size. It's 1020 tiles long and will cost 2 million energy. Looks like the temple that we need. So let's quickly clear the tiles around and then enter the temple. Looks like we are all set to enter the temple. It's just a limited food so I can continue later on entering the temple. So, looks like a puzzle sort of thing. Yeah, statues and pieces to put uh, numbered stones under them. Hmm. So it looks like the numbers are the number of fires around the statue. So just place the four around the statue where there were four fires around. The center one it has five fires around. I should probably take the two out first. Two is supposed to be here. Three is on the left side. Going around. Two 
ładnie zapyr. And out goes to five back in place. There we go, we can now enter further into the temple and this is looking like fun. We seem to have some kind of puzzle on every floor. Mm, literally this seems to be the last floor because I can already see the mirror in the center. So let's see, this is probably spotting the differences or similarities. doesn't look like either. We probably have to place the rings on those objects on that colored background as it is indicated in the center right next to the mirror. So which object is in this part? is a leaf but yes it doesn't look the same as the one in the center but that's the only kind of leaf that we had so I just put the ring around it. Next we have a stone on red. Again we don't have any kind of stone that looks like the one in the center but we have a different kind of stone in the center on the right side. So that's where the ring could possibly go. Next up we have wood on blue. So wood on blue is right here on the right side itself. Last thing is some bones on purple. This is again on the right, right side itself. I was kind of expecting two to the left and two to the right, but that is not usually, I mean, not always the case. So finally into the mirror ring, let's see what we got to do. Make them each other. Okay. So the two sections in the two mirrors, they must mirror each other. Hmm. Looks like we have some stones to place on the marks. Okay, pink in place, we have blue down there, mm, we have a green but I don't see a place for the pink and the red nor the yellow. So that's a mystery which we'll probably solve in the other half of the mirror, I mean the other side of the mirror or I would say the other mirror itself. Okay, so let's go right in there and see where those possibly are. Okay. 
this mirror has a set of its own stones that looks like it has the colors that we need and the hint was pretty right because the blue one is common in both the sections and it's in a place that is exactly mirroring each other so here's where the red is we can place the red from this area also all six stones on in both the areas they have to be in the same place that is a mirror of the other one so pulling the red out to get rid of the pink before you can place the yellow so this is where yellow is somewhere in the center okay let's put those colors where they belong uh, this one is on the right side it was in a place with less room this spot and yellow was here right next to the center wall so that's it for this side let's go over to the other side the pink is here in the center place according to the one that we placed on the left side it was somewhere here if I remember okay there we go all done let's return hmm. where are we supposed to return Okay, this portal seems to have unlocked that's some value and let's see how many more mirror puzzles we have three skulls three images hmm. looks like a movie kind of thing we have to figure out something from this And we saw a quest Kartli Puka playing a prank on this Kartli Puka. And again, somebody played a trick on this Kartli Puka again. Samna looks like he was tricked on all sides. Where are we supposed to go next? We've checked out the three mirrors, so what's next? Still a long way from completion, just one third done. Are we supposed to return? Yes, the ghoul was finding out something about this Katlipoka in his hangouts and we have done that. So yes, returning back was the right thing. And this Katlipoka imprisoned quest Katlipoka because of the tricks played so can't accuse him anyway so i 
and we're supposed to go maybe there is a bonus here we could place the stone on the bones we have several other stones and most likely just as many bones so this indeed looks like a bonus one more stone i suppose that's the last hmm, i need to take it back and pull push it in Yes, there we go. Piranha as a bonus is nice. And with that done, are we going further back? No, that's where we came from. So, what did Samna see? The jaguars obviously aren't going to see anything. Let's see what we have to do. Hmm, search for the calendar piece, but where? Oh, I remember. That's the place which I even talked about. There was Samna standing here earlier. Now he has moved and I just forgot about that, so with a little delay, let's continue. And let's hope that we find the next calendar piece. Mm, nothing much here, let's keep continuing. Wall, wall. Hmm. Okay, let's go closer to the wall and see if we can find the plate piece there. Or I would say calendar piece. There are no more plate pieces because all the gods are complete. Looks like before we continue, we have to do something with the wall. And we have a place here, probably requires a ladder, which we can find somewhere around. Let's look for it. Let's climb the wall. More jaguars and a god child.
some food for them and we can now go around and continue Looks like we need even more food for some more jaguars before they let us continue. Here's the food. completing this area okay we have somebody to talk to let's see okay this cut lukoka looks like a nice guy he has built a place just so the jaguars can recover and we did not find the calendar piece here so looks like we have to continue examna has moved away so we can proceed further let's try talking to him next step a building that belongs to this Khatli Poka. Probably the final part of this location because we have already done two out of three places where we tried to search for the calendar but did not find it. So let's hope the third and the last uh, place has the calendar. That was a rope with which we pulled the bridge. Earlier we could not step on the bridge because it was next to a stone. Now we can cross it. So let's do just that. Still more than a third of the location yet to be completed. And looks like we have more bridges to pull. So nothing much complex. Let's go around, try to reach the bridge and pull it. Make a long path to that bridge and even a labyrinth kind of thing because we have multiple sections where we can go but since we are pulling the bridge here it looks like the most likely correct section so let me just do the other sections first
this is the building that belongs to this Katipoka. Let's look for the piece, if it's somewhere here. And looks like the building has some puzzles as well. That movable rotatable stone kind of suggests that. Hmm, we have too many rooms and maybe too many stones as well. The question is where we are supposed to place them. I haven't yet found any place. Oh yes, indeed it looks like stones could go on those symbols in this room. And there's a key locked inside which could be or one of the doors in the center. Now the thing to figure out is which stone will go on which symbol and will face which direction. Maybe the answers are here. This one is half blue facing down. This one is half right and white facing right. That's black facing up. I'll any have to anyway have to check them out again. I'm not too good at remembering that, but yes, the solutions are right there. We don't have to go to any different screens or anything. All the solutions are right there in front of the eyes. Okay, I'm typing the wrong tile again and again. White one is right on the symbol that's on the right. Black, we have a solution, but orange looks like I've missed a few, uh, I mean, a section where the answer of the orange was. So let me just put the black, turning it up, and now let's check that other section. Last symbol in orange faces right side. Let's open that. Hmm, the other gate was there for no reason. Anyway, we have opened at least one of the gates, which lets us further explore the building. And yes, we have to find the calendar piece here. Otherwise, this cutly book up probably does not have it. Another similar kind of puzzle it seems, this time we need to unlock a red key. We already have answers to several or I would rather say all of the puzzles. So orange faces right, black faces top, white is left just as it is currently finally we have blue which is kind of missing not missing it's actually there on the left side but what's wrong 
That's not the symbol where the blue is supposed to go. The white one was right, but something is wrong with the blue. Black is right as well. And I'm pretty sure orange was right as well. So it looks like we have to fast search a little more for the correct combination. Looks like that is it. Blue actually faces on the top side. That gives us the red key. Now going to the other side, we probably have another of such puzzles because we have found some symbols that are extra and here is where they will be used. They give us a yellow key and we probably need both the red and yellow key. So starting off, some symbols are indeed common, the others are different. The blue one faces to the left. The left is on the left side. This one was actually on the top itself. We have two blue stones for this section. And something has went wrong. This blue is indeed correct, faces upside, white faces to the left, that is also correct, or not, because that is not the symbol that white is supposed to go on. The one with the black looks like the symbol, not the white one. Hmm, so looks like we have swapped the two. White is supposed to be on this symbol and black on the other one. And those were looking kind of similar. And we are done. Not done. We have to unlock the gates here. Just some more sections of the building, then we shall be done. And we have a lever here that just probably unlocks the gate. Not something that we want because we have already explored the other side. Side. Okay, somebody to talk to. This is actually a factory built by Tezcatlipoca, which is a good deed again. So it turns out Tezcatlipoca is not as bad as it seemed. So let's see, we have to find the culprit who has the missing or the last piece of the calendar. For now, just a few more tiles. Since it's less than 10, I can use the last tile finder and just quickly find the tiles. We still have 6 more locations in New World before we reach Terra. So we are probably not finding the calendar anytime soon. But looks like that's it for now. But wait. We have to finish the quest by... Talking to this cuddly poka in the city of gods. We actually came here but did not talk. And now we are done. He is going to suggest us who might have taken it. But that's for the next location. For now, thank you for watching.